everyone welcome back to my channel Angela here again I'm here to bring you another little tutorial to keep you all busy and out of mischief um, I'm pleased to say the weather is a hell of a lot cooler today than it has been um, so I am extremely happy about that <laughs> Wednesday was a tough day and um, this week and really struggled to keep focused so i don't know about you guys but it's really hard to f keep your mojo going and feel motivated when you're trying to craft so anyway i'm back again today and i've got another little project to share with you and i hope you're gonna um love following along with me so this is what i have put together and i'm loving these mauve shades um and i thought i would combine them with the um aqua shades because i thought the the purples the mauves the aquas the greens they look so lovely together so that's what i have done today now um i have actually used um the my porch prince um shabby purple ephemera and pages kit today um, after doing those ephemera booklets, I saw that um, Stephanie had brought out that purple one. Uh, she had the pages, but she did the ephemera, and really it is stunning. So if you haven't had a look at that yet, um, I'm hoping after today you'll be running over there to use it in a slightly different way. So as I said, I've combined the purples from her kit, um, and I've put in some aquas so I just love the combination and I, I hope that you do against the neutral tones so that's what we're going to have a look at today so let's have a look and see what I've done I've done another envelope project as you can see and I have also used some of my doilies for backgrounds just to tone it down I didn't want it to be too purple um, and I really love how this has come out um, so what you're going to need today is uh, two of these mailer type of envelopes. So if you've got ones that have come in the mail, use them. Um, this is just a standard mailer. Actually, Gina gave me this. Hi, Gina. Um, so I'm going to use two of these in my um, project today. So um, I'll give you some quick measurements on this as I found my inch and my conversion ruler. So if you're wanting to know, this is just over eight and a half inches or um, 22 centimeters. Um, and this way it is 11 centimeters and four, just short, uh, four and a quarter inches wide. But of course, you don't have to use this exact measurement. Use what you have. And um, that's really the purpose of it. So go and get the mailers. It's not going to matter. Just get two envelopes. They don't even have to be the exact same size. You'll be able to see from what I'm talking and doing today. So we're going to have a look at two of those. And then, as I said, we're going to have a look at the shabby purple um, My Porch Prints ephemera and um, pages kits. Um, and then I'm going to use a couple of my doily pages in here as well. All right, so let's get going. Right, so let's look at what I've done, actually, before I get going. Um, this is the front little envelope. So this is the first little one that I've done. And you can see it's got that lovely neutral cream doily of mine on the front there. Um, I have just made a little card with some butterflies and um, die cuts and things. And I have just put that into the top here. That is the window part of the one envelope. Here's some fussy cut flowers, die cuts, butterflies, whatever that I put on there. When you open that up like that, let me just make sure you can see. Um, I've got a little belly band here. I'm just fits in one of the pieces of ephemera from that shabby purple kit. I've made a little belly band and, and the, from one of the page pieces, that's the little uh, postcard. I've got this aqua, which is really a scrap of mine that I had lying in my, from a scrapbook page from that primrose pack that I used before. So that's lying in there. Um, you open that up, we've got some more um, ephemera from all of the ephemera is from that shabby purple and the colors and the images are stunning just look at that with the eggs and this beautiful i love this image i really love that so the images are absolutely stunning you can't go wrong with those 
Um, here's one of the pages from the Shabby Purple kit. And as I said, that's one of the... Um, I've just stuck on a little sentiment there. Um, here's another one of my doilies, which I've made into a little pocket. I'm going to show you how to do that. That's a butterfly from that Shabby Purple kit. Um, another piece of ephemera from there. Um, French sentiment. Uh, another piece of ephemera. Now, somebody asked, one of my subscribers, I think it was Sue, asked me about the paperweights that I use in my projects. And I'll just give you a blanket statement now. If I'm going to print out ephemera, I print it out on the thickest card that my printer will take, and that is 250 grams. If you're looking to convert that into the UK paperweights, we're looking at about 35 pound. So that's what the ephemera is printed on, so it's quite stiff. Um, and if I'm looking to print out my pages, pages like uh, this or the stuff that I print any of my digitals on, I usually print it on a 120 GSM to a 160 GSM. It just depends where I've got the offer and where I bought the paper. Um, and I have two stacks of paper, my background digitals and my ephemera. So the, the ephemera is on the 250 gram card usually. <sighs> Um, and the paper is, as I said, things like this, 120 to 160, just depends what I've managed to find. Okay, so as I said, we've got these pieces there. Um, and then that closes up like that. Um, and I won't close it here, but here you can see I've made a little tuck spot here with one of the pieces of ephemera. And I've stuck in these two bits there as well. Just a little bit of lace. Um, and I've got the um, doily background there, put some fussy cuts and die cuts and butterflies. Um, and I've just stamped out some words and that's from the kit as well. Um, so that's what we've got there. Okay, so that closes like that. Okay, so if we lift it up like this, you can see I've covered the flap in an off cut from the paper on the front and then on the back here sorry I ran up the stairs I've used one of the pages from the shabby purple pages I've put on a few little bits of butterflies and little sentiment from my typewriter and then I've put in all the different bits of ephemera from that kit which are really so pretty look at that I made a bigger version and that there so it's really very pretty so I'll show you how to make that as well so we'll just stick that all back in there and then just when we think sounds like a commercial but just when you think I've shown you it all we have a tag that sh pokes through the front window over there like that and it's a really long tag that goes into that and that's one of the shabby purple pages as well so that will just slide into the back there all right so that's what we're going to make today now that would fit onto your journal page um, on the side just like that and you can use it accordingly like that or you could even make something like this fit this on the other side if you wanted to or leave it as it is and make it for a cover for a, a journal or you know anything you really want so that's what we're going to have a look at today so let me just put that aside quickly so we're going to take our, our mailer and with our bone folder i want to take the side seams apart here so we're going to do that ever so carefully i'm just going along the edges like that and then the same on the side like that okay so don't worry about the sides that will all be sorted so you're opening it up pretty much like that as you've got it open like that and what I want you to do now is fold it the other way so what I've done here is I've folded it um, so that it's 12 centimeters or four and three quarter inches in width. 
that way and I've folded it like that and then I've just what I did here was this was out like that I've moved that in and I've um, moved, that's the flap of the envelope and I've just married those sticky bits up like that oops okay and those will match up with the fold lines that you have there so once you've done that you can just push that over or in your bone folder along there those are the automatic fold lines that will be with your envelope and the same over here okay so now you've got the bit that's going to fold in and the bit that's going to be like that all right so i hope that's clear for everybody right so we're going to leave that all like that um, and what i will suggest is just make if you've got this flat piece here um, we are going to have a pocket here i'm just going to take this off here that'll be covered anyway so we won't notice but as far as this flap's concerned i just stuck this down just so that it reinforces the pocket and um, we don't have to worry about that catching on your tag so you'll see over here it's just short of being coming over the envelope i mean the little window section like that so that's now made that little area stronger okay so that's all sorted now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the front bit over here and um what we're going to do is we're going to take um i use this piece in my doily kit and i've just fussy cut around the edge and i've measured it to fit um this piece in the front here like that now some of it will lap over so it's probably best that we close these sides up and work with it like this um, just so that when we stick that down it's not going to stick over the edge too much all right so you will see it's not quite um, covering the, all the little bits at the bottom there but all I do is I took my little um, makeup brush <laughs> that I use for my distressing um, I've got my antique or, or your to take your distress ink and just um, rub your brush in there and I'm going to just um, just distress that section a bit just slightly I just don't want the white to shine through um, and be stark white so that's just what I'm going to do on that little section there okay so if you want to use your vintage photo that'll be absolutely fine okay so i'm getting back to this this should then fit on here so i've just trimmed it to size and now you can see it doesn't stand out and be it's not an eyesore um, and i am going to ultimately stick that down there but what i do need to do is i needed to do like this one over here i want to have a bit of a window um, so what I did was an ever little bit of a window. I don't know why I make my life hard. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just estimate um, where I um, need to put the window here because this mailer's window is very fragile. And I'll show you a different way with a different envelope in a minute. So I'm just looking underneath here. And making a guesstimate really what you can do as well is just use your ruler so it's about two centimeters away and it's about uh, yeah about 12 there so I want to measure 12 there so this really is a guesstimate using my pencil so I don't get it wrong checking where this is going to lie and then measuring two centimeters looks about right 
and then I'm just going to gauge it and I'm just keeping this angle in line with this here um, and I took it up to that point there really and then I'm just going to line that up with the base so it's just really a, a tiny tiny window you don't even have to do this but as I have done it in the first one, I'm just doing it for the second one. So I've just measured the distance from, and that will be different for everybody, depending on your, how you folded your envelope. And even when you do use the same envelopes and do it again, it's not going to necessarily be the same. So that is my feedback on that one. So now I'm just going to take my craft knife and I'm going to just very gently... I'm just going to cut out along these lines like that. There we go, nearly done. And then just a little bit at the top there. So we've got that little piece like that and fingers crossed this is going to fit um, how we want it to so that was lucky there we go all right so perfect i'm happy with that um now i'm just going to take some distress ink again um, and ever so lightly i'm just going to distress oh, my tummy's rumbling <laughs> hope you didn't hear that right Okay, so I've just done that and I have already distressed the rest of this. So there we have it. Okay, let me just get my chair closer. All right, so we've got this ready to stick down and we're going to do that. So let's do that quickly. Um, I'm going to stick on the glue on here. Um, just be mindful of what's going to stick over, so don't go too far um, over. Like that, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so let's just get it right at the bottom here. Not too close to the flap. And I think uh, I'm going to move this down just a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that, so we'll stick with that. Okay, so you've got your first piece down. Now, I'm going to just take one of these scraps, and I'm just going to stick a piece behind, so that when I pull up the tag itself um, I'm not going to see the blue from the envelope so I'm going to just cut that off like that it's just from my scraps um, and open that up um, make sure that I've got that I think it'll be about there so make sure you stick right close to the edge of this you don't want your tag to be catching on this but you also don't want to squeeze the glue out and glue the whole pocket together. So it's a fine line. <laughs> right, so we're going to just put that there like that. It doesn't really matter. That's just to cover up the behind section. Okay, that's already glued down. This bit we can glue down as well. It's just the other side. So it's going to reinforce your pocket um, and then we can stick these two together but they are pretty sticky already just like that and now we are good to go so just match those all up again oops I didn't need any glue there it doesn't matter because I'll be sticking stuff over there right so we're all good to go there Okay, 
Right, so we've got that done and now you can see you haven't got the blue at the back there. And now when I fold that in, that's going to look really pretty. Um, so you can just distress a little bit over the edge here just to get that stark white away. I really could have moved a little bit closer, but that will do. Um, right, so we've got that there. And now what I need to do is put on my decoration for the rest of the front so let me just grab it I think it's under here so I've got my little fussy cuff flower that I cut out of a book it's slightly different to the other one because um, I didn't quite have the same but it's the same kind of thing so I'm gonna have this over here and I'm just measuring it up so I know where to cut off when I glue Okay, so we'll have that one over there, and then I did um, some die cuts with my Tim Holtz wildflower dies, so I've just put it on this beautiful colour, and, oops, um, and then I'm going to put one of these on here, just to bring out more of that purple shade, and then I had a little um, bit of the aqua blue just to bring that in a bit more like that and I'm going to put that um, on the front as well okay so we've got that I'm just rearranging it how I want it I think I'm going to move this there more and I'm going to just put that I'll have you over there and you over there Right, so cut off these bottoms because that gives me a good guide of where I want them. And I'm going to stick that down quickly. So let's do that. All right, so I've got that all sorted. And now what I had wanted to stick down the bottom here was just a little butterfly that I had um, found out of one of my kits. I don't know which one it was. Um, and I'm going to just stick that over the bottom window just like that, just to bring in some of that aqua shade. So we're going to just do that quickly. Okay, so it's all coming together really well. Okay, so there we go. We've got that front all sorted and I'm quite happy with that. Now what I did there was I made a card. This is just from a scrap of um, that um, the Primrose pack from DCWV. So I had that scrap that I'd used in my, before and I've just backed it onto old packaging which has got a beautiful vintage look card and then put in a tab there so that's going to slide in to that pocket at the back there like that so you can just see a peak of some flowers and the little uh, another butterfly at the back there so that's what we're going to put in there all right so we've done that bit now um, i'm going to take it out because what i need to do is just finish up that back pocket and I'm going to just put a very thin bead of glue just on the inside of this line because that won't be a pocket so it's not going to steal from the space so I'm just going to run my glue um, there just to seal that down and this one I think is sealed already so that's great okay so we've got that sorted now we want to just finish off that pocket and what I did there took that scrap that I had and I have um, cut it to size to fit over here so I'm going to stick that down but on those three sides because that's where our tag's going to go in so I'm just going to hold that like that um, and stick that down quickly well, it's not going to go um, in this bit here so you can put glue here it's going in between the, the envelope really so but you don't want to get it all up on the top here and this is a bit shorter if that makes sense so you can put the glue on that bit right so now we want to just 
get that lined up and make sure we've got it all sorted there and we can press that down and that's that piece done um this one this piece here i'm not going to cover it's going to tuck underneath and we won't see that so that's fine um this piece needs um part of the shabby purple paper um and i've cut a piece to fit over here so we're going to stick that down just like that okay so we'll do that and Just stick that all down. Oh, I feel far more motivated now that the weather has cooled down. I don't know about you guys, but I was really struggling with the heat. Um, just not just with the heat, but it makes me tired. It makes me not really want to get up and do what I want to do. So that's a bit disheartening. Okay, so we've got that side on. Before I decorate these, I just want to get all the bits on. All right, so for this bit over here again. Um, I had another piece of that paper and I'm going to just stick that on there like that as well. This one won't have a pocket, it's going to have a belly band, so I'm just going to stick it straight down. I'm back at work now, so I don't have as much time as I normally do, which is not good. Um, for me, <laughs> but I can't complain, I suppose, you know, in the current climate. All right, so we've got all our bits on here, so that's looking fab, almost done with this section. We can now stick our card back in there, so that's the card that I made earlier, so that can go into the back over here. So there's that that's done so let's just do this bit here so what I wanted to go on there was a little belly band so I cut this out of the butterfly page um, the other bit of the butterfly page is on this tag here so you can see it's a two to a page I did with that was this page here um, uh, and I'm just going to measure off what I need and then I'm going to just cut it off so I want to do there just centralizing these as best I can so I'm going to just cut that straight across there with my scissors and straight across here right and then I'm going to just put on a little bit of So that will be able to go down here and I'm going to stick that down straight away. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the top here. And a little bit of glue over there. And we can stick that straight down and then here we go. Just make sure you've got it straight. That's always my worry okay so i'll let that dry for a bit before i stick that in and then on this side what i did was um i took this doily that I, is in my kit um and what i did was i put it on here just to gauge the size because i'm going to stick it down over there and then what i did was i measured this one is 18 centimeters or seven inches so what I did was at the I folded in two inches on each side more or less so I folded in a line like that I turned it around I measured two inches scored it folded in like that um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just on this bit here I'm going to put a bit of glue 
just to keep that bit together you don't want to exceed that because that's going to be a pocket and then I, I folded this up like this um, so I folded that up from the widest point one and a half inches or four centimeters up so the finished um, pocket is nine centimeters or three and a half inches and that's going to fit there really well just like that and then I've got a space to put in something there with this I just um, glued a little bit on that inside flap there just to stick that down just over there like that so just press that together just so that nothing gets caught there and then I'm going to just run some glue just along the bead over here Oh, we're getting to the end of this glue, so that's always testing. And then a little bit over there as well, just like that. And then I'm just going to fold that up like that and hold it down for a minute. Um, and that should hopefully keep that in place. Um, I'm just going to put my little things on there. So what we have is a little pocket in the front and we have... A little pocket in the back here as well um, and that I'm going to stick down over there what else did I do over there okay so while I'm waiting for that um, I'm just going to give this a little dusting of ink and then of course on this bit over here a little bit as well so we've got like a little lacy pocket now okay so these will be fine now I can take those off and that's perfect I like that um, and now I'm going to stick it quite close to the bottom and centralize it here now if you wanted to you could stick you could just put um, glue on three sides that's even pretty that way um, and have a pocket behind as well as over there it's up to you so I'm just going to stick it down oh, the glue's running up I've got another one here so I'm not gonna worry about that too much and I'm just gonna put the glue right over the back here because to be honest this is enough there is enough of every, all the sorts of bits and bobs that I'm putting in here it's going to be thick enough so I'm just going to stick that straight down as it is. Okay, right. So we've got two little pockets there. And then um, what I did was I cut out a little uh, die cut, a wildflower die cut. So again, from that purple. And I'm just going to stick that over there like that. So... Um, we can quickly do that. So we've got that glued in and I did tuck it in the other one, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to um, stick it over like that. And there we go. All right. Um, and I had a little butterfly that I had torn out from the butterfly. It was the top of uh, this piece here. Um, and I'm going to stick that over there um, with a little bit of lace, and which I need to just grab quickly. Oh, okay, so we've got our little bit of um, lace. So I'm just going to chop off a tiny little bit here, like that just from my little scrap pile there and I'm going to stick that on just over the edge like that I think and I'll put some of this on and then I'm going to just take a little sentiment like this which comes from these sheets from the lovely Jackie from Souvenir de la France. She has these digitals on her um, on her Etsy store, in her Etsy store, sorry. Um, and they are a school um, from a school um, 
journal. So this is for school children to practice their French and their writing. So I thought that these were really lovely, beautiful script, and I love French. So um, I've just used these as a really sweet little sentiment um, just to put there with my little um butterfly and things so i'm going to arrange that how i want that but if you want to go and pop over and have a look for this this is very reasonably priced so so worth it you get these two different sheets and you've got loads of beautiful script here really lovely and neat perfect for your journals not only just for sentiments but of course you can use this for so many other things and i'll probably be using them in, in another couple of projects too so go over and have a look um Right, so I'm going to stick this down with my fabric tack here quickly. Um, just get... Right, just because it is fabric, um, this works best for this. So we're going to just put some of this on. Like that. Stick that down really quickly. Um, I will use it too for my little sentiment and I printed these two to a page so it's the perfect size for what I wanted and then I'm going to just stick over right there beautiful font and then this little butterfly which I tore from the top of the My Porch Prints kit and the gorgeous butterflies in here um, take that like that and I'm going to just put that over there so we've just got a little bit of a layering going on and it's really pretty and then i've got another little butterfly really small the one that i just had um but it was the perfect color it's really tiny i'm just going to use this quickly because it's losing out put the lid on upside down right and then i'm going to just stick that over here like that Okay, so that's that page sorted. So while that dries, let's get on with this one. Um, and what I did there was um, a couple of pieces of ephemera. So this is the one from uh, the ephemera pack from the Shabby Purple. And that's the actual little postcard that we're going to slide in over here. So we want to just get that in there like that. And then this card over here, um, I've just rounded the corners. These are all pieces from that beautiful ephemera pack. That's going to be a little tuck spot over there. And then I've got these other two bits that I'm going to slide in as well. So I'm going to just put the glue on these two sides over here. And then that will sort out that side as well so let's just get that down there and there we go okay um, I can always ink these later so we'll just slide those two little bits I love that little one with the eggs in over there and then of course we wanted to put I'm putting this piece of ephemera in here just at the back um, and then this beautiful one look at that <laughs> I think that's a moth and I'm going to put that one in here oops come on little floral bit get up and then that will just slide in ever so nicely over there like that all right, so we've got that all sorted on the inside. We can close that up. We've got that bit all sorted. And that's the front over there. So we've got that piece all done. So that's all ready. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is split this into two videos. Um, so we'll have to be looking at the other component and do that in a separate one. And then we'll put both of them together. Right, everybody. So that's the end of part one. Um, I hope you enjoyed putting this together with me. Um, please come and join me for part two um, and we can see how we put 
this piece we've just made today together with a piece we're going to make in part two and make it one unit so thank you everyone so much i hope you have enjoyed watching this and partaking i hope you followed along um and like always so appreciate your um time and for watching this with me and of course your lovely comments uh, and i can never say that enough so look out for part two and i'll see you again really soon bye bye